Hey guys, it's Brett and Brad. We are independent Sensi consultants and we're here with a Sensi haul from a party we closed out. We closed out our first party. Hey, yay, yay! Yes, we had a really good first launch party. So in case you don't know what that is, when you're a consultant, you create a party on your website and basically when people order, if they order through your party that you have on there, then you're able to get host credit from the menu you make from the party and then half price items as well. So if you're a consultant, you always want to do that because otherwise you'll miss out on the host credit and then the half price items from the money, the sales you make off your website. So it's always good to have a party and then make sure you tell the people who are buying to please choose that party. You can always share the link to, um, so they'll buy through the party. And then people also under you can host parties and they can buy from them and so on and so forth. So we closed the party out and we got quite a bit here from that party since it was we had a really good party. Thanks to everybody who bought from us. We appreciate yes, it. Thank you very much. So we're gonna open up the box here, big box. Right here, this big old box. Oops, sorry. Sorry, right, you don't have to worry about hitting me. So open up here where's the scissors? There's the list of items. It's gonna flush it out, but yeah. Having problems with the lighting on our on our camera. Our camera, like if you hold something up close and take it away, it gets real dark, but if you have a light, it's too bright, it's back and forth, so I'm just having to go with it. But if I have it too bright, some things get flushed out. But if I turn it down too low, then it gets really dark. Don't know what's wrong with the camera. Okay, so we're just gonna dig in here and go. So we got some Sensi Pods because we've never had any of the pods. Well, actually, let's start. Gosh, I don't know where the thing is in here. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's your thing. So we got the Sensi Pods because we have something to put these pods in in just a minute, but it's down below, so I'll just show the pods first. We have a pod in Luna. So the pods are just like this. They have little fragrance beads in here, and you can put them in their wall fan diffusers. It has a little fan in there that blows the no blows the stuff out, the beads out. And then also you can put them in little mini fan diffusers, and they have uh, their air, purif air purifiers. You can put them in. So that's what we got. And we have Luna here. Let me see what they look like on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear them moving around. Mm. Yeah, it smells good. Mm, it does smell good. Yeah. Mm, like it. So I'm not going to read all the scent notes and all that stuff on Luna. Go on the description. I might talk about it in the wax bars, but these, I'm just going to show you what we got. Because we'll be here all day. It's just a Luna's a nice soft scent. And then we have peanut. Okay, I'm not gonna smell these because some of these are in the wax that I want to talk about later in just a minute. We have whipped vanilla lavender as well, which is new. It came out with the Mother's Day stuff. And we got that in the wax bar too, so we'll talk about it when we get the wax bar. We'll smell it and let you know. How it is. A lot of these that we got in the pods, we got also got in wax in a bar. We got Make a Splash. Splash. We got Lemon Durzel Cake. Actually, we didn't get that in a bar because I had that in my club. It was from the Easter collection. I put it in my club, so I probably don't need to have have to keep my club because I could buy it by itself now but I just want to put it in there because if I don't I'll probably forget later to put it in there and I don't want to forget to put it in there later so even though it's for sale right now I know a lot of people don't keep stuff in their club that is actually to purchase right now if you can purchase it they don't keep it in there but I'm afraid I'll forget to put it in there so let me oh god yes I love mm, lemon drizzle yes. cake oh, mm, so good. yeah I love it Lemon and cake. Lemon and cake. Love that. And then, uh, oops. I was going to say she closed. There we go. Uh, cocoa lime. 
And then pink cotton. Focus. There we go. So yeah, I think that was what, six? Yeah. Oh, seven. Uh, Cloudberry Dreams. I love Cloudberry Dreams. That's one of my, that's one of my favorites, if not my favorite so far. It's in my top five easily. Hmm. That one's really strong on the rose on that one. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, now, now the raspberry's kicking in. At first I got bam rose, but, but then that good mixture of that raspberry with the vanilla. It's got peach too, but I don't get as much peach as the raspberry and rose. The vanilla, really good. All right. We got some black raspberry vanilla washer whiffs just in time because we were just ran out last night. I used a little bit, the last bit of our Scentsy Clean. I think it was Scentsy Clean. Is that the one it was? It was clean, yeah. So I heard that black raspberry vanilla is really good in the washer whiffs. We got that and we also got the dryer discs as well because we're going to use them together. Wash your clothes with that and put this in the dryer. Yeah. I like it. it smells good. So hopefully between the two of those, it'll smell really good. The clean was nice, but I feel like the clean scent, uh, Scentsy Clean, was uh, it kind of had like a fabric softener, like soap type of smell. So I didn't feel like it stood out as much as something like this might stand out because it smelled like just like fabrics, <laughs> laundry detergent kind of. So I could smell it, but I don't think it stood out as something like that would be different than like a laundry type of scent would. All right, next up we got some car bars. We got a lot of car bars and uh, scent circles for us and for maybe for um, the scent circles, probably mostly for like to give out like when we have orders or if we send mail, happy mail, sometimes a certain, you know, different, not to every person, but like just here and there for certain things. If, if we want to set something out and add that in there, we can. So we got black raspberry vanilla and vanilla bean buttercream, summer holiday, blue grotto, Atlantic Air and Cloudberry Dreams. Yay. And then, let's see. We'll go over the scent circle since we just went over the car bars. So the scent circles are pretty good. Um, I mean, the car bars are good. We've only tried four so far. We've had mm -hmm. Jewel Pomegranate and Cla uh, not Cloudberry Dreams. Almond croissant. Almond croissant's amazing. You've heard me talk about that one over and over again. Jewel pomegranate is amazing too. That one lasts really long, even longer than the almond croissant. And then we had um, Mystery Man. Brad had in his car. That one was pretty light though. He mm -hmm. had to put that like in front of his vents to get it to blow the yeah, air through. So I could actually smell it. I yeah. had to put it right in front of my vent. So I don't know how the wax melt is because we never had Mystery Man and the wax melt, but the car bar was fairly light. And then I had Aloha Citrus in the car bar too. That was not as light as Mystery Man, but it was definitely lighter than the Almond Croissant Jeweled Pomegranate. Um, that lasts maybe a couple weeks, but it was on the lighter side. But I could smell it though. So we'll see how the rest of these do. So it could be just depend on the scent. And then these are the scent circles. I've heard scent, we've never tried the scent circles yet. So these will be a first when we try some of these. And of course keep them too for customers that we will throw in orders or whatnot. So um, I heard these don't last quite as long but maybe like a couple weeks as opposed to like a month or so with those. So we'll see, it probably also depends on the scent. So we have, I can barely read that, Pina Colada Cha Cha. Cha Cha Cha. -cha, -cha That's what -cha, the scent -cha -cha. circle looks like. It's just cardboard on a string. It's a cardboard circle on a string. They got Luna. By the Sea, Amazon Rain, Aloe Water and Cucumber, P 
pink cotton. Here comes the sunflowers. Cloudberry dreams. Can you tell I like cloudberry dreams? Make a splash. Vanilla waves. Palm trees and ocean breeze. Ruby nectarine, the scent of the month for uh, April. Got two of those. And white amber antique. I don't remember getting that. Mm -hmm. That's the one I chose. Oh, that's right, because I don't like that. I'm like, I don't think I'd like that. White amber antique, I've heard it smells like a... Uh, he doesn't like real corny scents. Well, no, I do. It's just the teak. It smells like mahogany teak with her bath and body which I used to love, but then I burned myself out on it, I think, and I just don't like that at all anymore. There's a lot of people in the wax community, especially candles, that don't really like mahogany teak anymore, but I think this is because we, it was so popular back in the day when it came out, and we just had it so much, and I think just so many people are burned out on it anymore. Um, Brad's sister did buy this, though. She made a wreath for Brad for a salon, so she, we were gonna pay her for it. She said, just give me some wax bars. So we ordered some wax bars for her, and she ordered this scent, and I smelled it, and actually didn't smell that bad. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly like mahogany teakwood. It's a little different. It is similar, though, but yeah. But Brad still likes it, so either he'll use it, or yeah, you wanted that, didn't you? So you'll use that one. I'll see how I like it when he puts it in his car. All right, now we'll, uh, let's see, we'll show you this. This is our wall fan diffuser. This is our first one, so we'll try it out and see how it is. We got the zigzag wall fan diffuser. And I think it's black. Brad says it's gray, so we'll see. I thought it looked gray on the computer. He says black. I see black. So, but even if it's black, it'll still go with our gray stuff. No, it will. It's, I was just saying, I thought it was black, but you said gray. That's a dark charcoal gray. It is. Gray. A, okay, now in light, it is like a really dark charcoal gray. Hmm. Hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. You were right. It's not gray, gray. it's like charcoal gray, though. You're right, so, it's not. But it is a gray, though. It's not black. Yeah. You can see there. On pictures, though, sometimes it looks black, but it's, it's like a charcoal gray. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. It's prettier in person, I think, than it mm -hmm. is in the, on line. Looks pictures. better in person for sure. Yeah. So what you do is, this plugs into the wall, of course, and then have your little button here that you push, and the button lights up too when you plug it in, a little circle around the little, not circle, but a little square around the button there. It's got a fan down there in the bottom, and it makes, turns the fan on when you plug it in, and then with the Sensi Nods. Mm, make a splash. It was really good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I haven't smelled that before. We got that in a bar too. So you can put either one or two in here. So you just drop it down in here on the inside. Or no, you gotta take the thing off first. I think you'd have to take this off. Yeah. Take the top off first and then you drop it down there. You, you can either put one or you can put two on there. Of course, with you get more fragrance with two, and if you don't want as much fragrance, you just put one. And then you just put the lid back on there, and then plug it in. Or you don't, or you can do it while it's plugged in, I guess. But yeah, they just sit on there, and then that fan blows those, the fragrance from the bees out the top. So we'll see how they are. I have never um, used one of these yet. We've used the, um, of course, the Bath and Body Works Wallflowers we've used a lot, and then Homeworks has, Bath and Body Works Wallflowers kind of hit and miss. Some of them are really good, and some of them start out good, but they don't last. And then Homeworks have the oil ones too. Those are very hit and miss. Those don't do so great for me. Some, but most of them I can't really smell. Just a little bit, but not that much. So we'll see how this one is. No, Peanut. Peanut wants to get in the box. She's no. dying to get in this box. You're gonna have to wait till we get it uh, emptied and then you can get in there. Then we got these. We got two mini fan diffusers. 
Brad and I wanted these for our cars because we heard they're good for your car. Let me take it out and show you. Well, there's nothing to show. It's just a little box with little designs on it. We got the same ones, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. So that's what it looks like. It's a little bitty mini fan diffuser. And that, that one with. comes with a USB cord. So you don't plug that one in, it just, it plugs in, but through a USB. It's got a cord and it goes into USB. And then um, you just put your pod yeah. in there. You just sit the pod on top of there. So like you can put a USB port in your car and then sit it somewhere in your car and then just sit that on there. Or you can put it by your computer. Yeah, I'll buy your it desk. Plug it into your computer. Have a little scent by your computer. Yeah, and I think I heard, uh, does this? It wiggles around. A little bit. Uh, it doesn't like fasten in there, it just sits in there. But I've seen some people say they use little Scentsy or any kind of washi tape and they put the washi tape around there and it kind of holds it in there in case you drive real crazy. Like bread, whatever. It'll hold it in there. But yeah, so we'll see how that works. I've heard this works better, even gives you more fragrance than like even some of the car bars, maybe. But we'll see. Or you, I think it'd be good to use it with it. You have that, and then have that, and you have a little boosted fragrance. But uh, it, those car bars are pretty good for me. So I don't know. We'll see how that does. Oops, let me take that out. All right, then we got this warmer here. Yes, I'm excited. That's for my salon. It's the scent of the month warmer for April. It is the Desert Bloom Warmer. So Brad has his new salon and he wants to put this in his suite. He has his own suite now, so he can put a little warmer in there. It'll be perfect in there because it's, it's his own little room and you should be able to smell nicely with this warmer in there. I have a candle that I light in there right now and everybody walks by. It smells good in there, Brad. Ugh. I would want to see this in person. I guess I could let you do it since it's your warmer. Wow, that's really pretty. That is really pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. So detailed and so beautiful. I love the different layers of the succulent. That's all crackly and stuff. Yeah, it's I got love that it. design. So that's what it looks like there. So so pretty. I don't know if you can see the little crackles in there. Got like a little crackle design and then that's the top there the plate it says sensi that's where you sit the the little bowl that's in here i like how it has the different see the one layer two layer three layer it's really pretty and then on the back it's got your little light this is a element warmer it doesn't have a bulb or anything like a lot of their warmers have bulbs this is just like basically a hot plate warmer they're called element warmers <clears throat> This plate right here gets hot when you plug it in and you turn it on with a switch and the light comes on and then you just sit the plate on the top there and then put the wax on the, in the little bowl there and then it will get hot and fragrance your area with the wax. It's really pretty. Yes. And a lot of people, really excited. a lot of people decorate them different ways. Brad got a, uh, Cord concealing base to put his on, which I'll show you in a second. Some people put them in like bases too, like different little succulent bases and little stands and stuff. All kinds of cool things you could do with them. So there's that. Now we're gonna show you the base. Well, don't put that up yet because we got to put it on the base. This is the Birchwood Warmer Stand, is what it's called. It's a pedestal warmer stand. 
it's cord concealing because you can like roll up the cord in there so it's not hanging all over the place. Got a mess all over the floor here. Clean that up in a little bit. Oh wow, that looks so pretty. pretty. Real. So that's what the warmer looks like. It's well, not warmer. The uh, stand. This looks like the wood there. It looks really real. And then on the bottom, it looks like around the side, and that's the little. You just wrap the cord around here. It's got on the bottom. It's got that which you'll wrap the cord around, and then it'll go out. It's got two little things. One go in and one go out. Oh, okay, duh. <laughs> Yeah, you put it in and then go through there and then it'll come out the other end. Yeah. So yeah, you sit on there and that's what it looks like. Let me show you that side. So pretty. So pretty. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to get in this box to get that so bad. Yeah, that's pretty. So that'll look good. Now you just gotta find a place to put it in there. So that's that. Let me put this back over here. Okay. Alright, and then lastly, we just have bars. Go over this here. Go over these bars here. So, we have French lavender right here. Let me, uh, I'll have you show a close-up of it while I pull it up on my phone so I can read the nose. And it is purple with purple wax, of course. So, French lavender is pure herbal fragrance of wild lavender from the hills of France. You look confused. <laughs> That's a not like regular lavender. It smells like lavender, but it smells more. Fresh. Yeah. I like it. It's not like a... I smell the lavender, but it's fresh. It's not, it's a softer, it's not a real strong astringent lavender. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of a powdery lavender, I feel like. Yeah. Like maybe. a soft... It's a real soft, slightly powdery lavender. It's not like a real harsh herbally lavender, like astringent herbally lavender. It's a more of a soft lavender. I like it though. Mm-hmm. It's nice. So that's French lavender. Let me put that down here. Jamie time. Jamie time. And that's uh, is that blue? Yeah, mm -hmm. blue wax. So Jamie time is help kids drift into dreamland with this soothing blend of baby freesia. Lavender and sweet pea. See, I get more lavender out of this one. Do you really? Mm -hmm. So, freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. So, it's a floral and lavender, evidently. Very calming smelling. Does it make you feel like you're in your jammies? Yeah. This smells good. Well, we smelled some of these actually on our in our tester kit because we, we get a tester kit when we're a consultant. So I've smelled it, but not in the bar. I just had the little tester. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. See, I don't smell the lavender in here. I do. I smell floral, but I feel it's like a soft, like relaxing. But I get lavender a little bit. I get it's like it's just relaxing and soft and refreshing and relaxing. A little florally lavender, but yeah, it's nice. I like that. Okay. Clean breeze. Clean breeze. Yes, I think this is a. It's kind of a laundry-ish scent. White florals with a touch of spring. This is the scent of fresh, clean laundry. Those are the scents I really like. It's a really laundry like. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, fresh laundry. 
See, this is the kind I was talking about, like our washer with us. It was kind of similar to this, which just smells like, it smells like laundry detergent, fabric softener, mm -hmm. you know. So when we had that, it did smell fresh, but I think it, which your tide and all that kind of stuff, it, kind of, it just kind of blended in with that. So I've, our clothes just smelled extra. It's like we had extra tide in there or mm -hmm. something, you know what I mean? Or extra fabric softener. It didn't stand out as a, like something that, that was normal, what we normally kind of do, just like intensify the clean clothes smell. But I like that. No, I do too. It was good, but I kind of wanted something I could smell just that was different than just like a, a laundry scent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this is just a laundry scent. So this is good to freshen up rooms and stuff with laundry rooms or bathrooms or whatever. Or Marco's, our scent Marco's room. He needs <laughs> these kind of scents. Teenage Boys. Yeah. Vanilla Waves. Oh, this one. This one smelled really good in the tester, so I had to get it. I know a lot of people love this one. This one is sea salt and whipped vanilla crashed into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. So we got sea salt, caramel, and whipped vanilla. I can get the vanilla and caramel, but it kind of smells like fiery, smoky to me. Yeah, I get the caramel. It's like a... Mm, I get it. I like that caramel, but the blend of that vanilla and caramel. I think it's like a. Don't what's that kind, kind of caramel? smoky though. It's, I think it's that. Um, it's like a caramelized, vanilla. like caramelization. Yeah. Kind of makes it kind of seem smoky. Mm -hmm. Like. Like when oh, you cook caramel. Yeah. You know, kind of. Spun vanilla sugar from Homeworks. If you know Homeworks candles, if you've had spun vanilla sugar. That has like a caramelized sugar in there. That's in vanilla. That's kind of what that reminds me a little bit. It's similar because it's it's like a caramelized sugar, and then like more as opposed to like a super stick thick ooey gooey caramel. It's like caramelized vanilla or something. Yeah, which does kind of come off kind of a sm little smoky. Yeah, it's good. Yum yum. Next. Rainbow Sherbert. Rainbow Sherbert. I heard this one's really good, so we will see what we think. This is, it's a classic. Orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime. Zing, just like the real thing. Orange zest, orange, strawberry, and key lime. It smells exactly what it says it's supposed to. It smells so good. Like rainbow sherbet. Yeah, it does. It smells amazing. I really like that one. This is a good blend of it. You definitely get like that, that lime. But, and I get the strawberry too, and orange. It's kind of like, then it reminds me a little bit of that, was it cherry limeade, but yet instead of cherry, you got strawberry and orange with the lime. It smells so good. Because cherry lime had, had cherry with the lime. This has orange and strawberry with the lime. That's kind of what it reminds me. Mm. That is really good. I'm, this is probably going to be strong, I can tell. Yeah. Because cherry lime made was strong. Anything with lime is usually pretty strong, it seems like. Cloudberry Dreams. Okay, I don't need to read. I know this notes by heart. <laughs> On this one's my favorite scent. This is Rose, Raspberry, Peach, and Vanilla. I think that's the only one I have the most memorized in so far. Mm. Mm. I've had this. It smells good. Yeah. This is one of the ones I bought. It was one of the first few that I bought last fall. God, I love it. It's so good. I love, you get the rose, but you get that raspberry and then like the vanilla. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I really like rose scents, but I, some people don't like rose scents because it's too much. And I, I like them, but Sometimes it is too much if it's just a pure rose, but when they mix something with the rose, it's so good. I love when they mix stuff with rose because it calms down the rose so it's not so bam and harsh and headache inducing, but yet, oh, you can still smell it, but that, that raspberry. I don't get a lot of peach though, but I do get the vanilla and the raspberry, mostly raspberry and rose. Mm. Mm. I am kind of curious to try the, um, what was it, the uh, pure, is it pure rose? I forget what it is. Simply rose, I think. 
that was out for uh, Bring Back My Bar last in January. I didn't try it, but I heard that a lot of people don't like it because it's too much, but I kind of want to see how I would have thought. Because I can take pure rose and just doses here and there, but you got to be really careful because it gets so overpowering. Satin sheets. Satin sheets and luxury so fine. Oh, yeah. All right. Satin sheets. You know what song that was I was singing? No. Dress You Up by Madonna. Satin sheets and luxury so fine. Okay. Satin sheets is... Sensual and earthy sandalwood, perfectly paired with rich, warm vanilla. So we got sandalwood and vanilla. Earthy sandalwood and vanilla. Yeah, it's very... Sensual and earthy. Yeah. Very much so. I don't really get a lot of vanilla. But I really like it. Mmm, yeah. Oh god, that's really good. I want that for the salon. I love sandalwood scents and... You get a little bit of vanilla. It's not real creamy or anything, but I think it just has a little slight of a sweet vanilla to tone down that harsh sandalwood a little bit. Make it a little more sensual because that vanilla, otherwise it's going to be a super, super harsh sandalwood. That's really good. All right. Sparkling magnolia. <laughs> magnolia. Sparkling Magnolia. This is new. This one just came out for Mother's Day in the Mother's Day collection. Phoebe wants to help us. We should let her smell them, but she doesn't like to smell them. I tried. She Pe won't. Peanut does, but Phoebe doesn't like. <laughs> oh, she kind of likes that one. Ooh, she's coming around to it. She usually don't have nothing to do with them. Oh, so this one is. A bouquet of violet and magnolia petals brightened by a spritz of sparkling citrus. So we have violet and magnolia petals and citrus. So florally citrus. It's very florally. I like floral. Ooh, I'm just getting it for breath. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Ugh. Yeah. That's really good. I like it. It's a really pretty scent. It's florally, but it's not like... It's not overwhelming. I think it's maybe that citrus that makes it kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Blended in with that floral. Yeah. It's perfumey. It is a little perfumey. So if you don't like perfumey scents, you're probably not going to like this. But I, I do like them if they're done right. It's like perfumey and a little bit florally. I think it's a little more perfumey than floral. But it does have that floral in there. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. This one's gonna be Summer Holiday. Summer Holiday. This one I smelled in our testers and it smelled really good, so I had to order it. Still away to a sunny aisle, bursting with lush plumeria, tiger lily, and sweet orange, softened by vanilla and radiant amber. So we have plumeria, tiger lily, orange, vanilla, and amber. Vanilla, yeah. I get the vanilla a lot. Just vanilla? Yeah. Oh god, that's really good. I love this one. Mmm. Man, I... Mm. It's so weird because I do get the vanilla, but I get amber too. But I, I don't really, it's not floral really, but mm -mm. what it, it doesn't remind me of floral, but it says plumeria, plumeria and tiger lily. Orange, but I don't really get orangey either, either in here. And I don't, mm -mm. I maybe get a light floral, but like. I get more vanilla in that. <sighs> it smells good. God, I don't know. It's really good though. It, it does. I don't know, it's just really good. I don't even really know how to describe what it is because I'm not really getting floral like it says. But maybe just the mixture of the floral and the orange is coming off whatever this is like, but it's not... I don't know, it's really good. It's fresh and summery. Something, something, summery is something about... This reminds me of summer. They got it. They got it right, though. 
because it smells like summer. Luna. Yeah. This is our friend Blair's favorite. Yeah. She loves Luna. Luna is white florals, jasmine, sweet pea, and freesia, juicy berries, and sandalwood, shimmer like moonlight. So we have jasmine, the white florals, jasmine, sweet pea, and freesia, and juicy berries, and sandalwood. It smells really good. I see why she likes it. Yeah, we had that one last fall. I had this one. And I've had it before. Yeah, it's really good. Mm-hmm. It is a mixture of all that. I get the florals, but I get berries, too. Now, a little bit of sandalwood. It's not super strong with sandalwood. There's just a little hint of sandalwood. But I mostly get florals and berries. They're really soft, really pretty. Yes. And this one lasts forever. This is a really long-lasting one, because I remember I had it in Marco's room, and it just kept going. It would last it for, like, oh, gosh, maybe five days or something. It just kept lingering and lingering and lingering. So this is a really good one to get if you like your scents to linger on. Clothesline? Clothesline, I wonder what that one smells like. Clothes straight out of the wash, hanging on the line. Let's see here. Where's that at? There it is. We have <clears throat> Crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and even a hint of white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just washed laundry. Dried naturally in the air anytime you please. So it says crisp greens and orange flower and creamy violet. It smells violet. just like laundry. It smells kind of like snuggle. It smells like snuggle. Yeah, it does. It's, it's not... It has a little bit of a sweetness. Like it says... Mm -hmm. I don't know about crisp greens. I don't really get green in here at all. But orange flower can be violet. It's gonna be a strong it's scent. Slightly florally. It's, it's gonna like be a, a strong scent. Yeah, it's like a florally laundry scent. Let's, yeah. What's the other one we got? The um. Oh gosh. Clean, clean breeze. Let's see what the difference is between clean breeze and clothesline. Yeah. This has got like a little bit of, like more floral. A little. Yeah. A little, a little bit of a touch of a sweetness. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. That one has more of a sweetness for this sure. This is definitely more laundry. Like the laundry, laundry, uh, soap, like laundry detergent. This has got a little more fresh air. This has got fresh air, like it says, like mm -hmm. out in the clothesline. You get a little like a fresh air. Maybe it does have a little bit of greens in there too. I'm getting like a fresh air feel to it. Maybe that's greens is coming off, of, pulling the fresh airness off of it, as opposed to this is just straight up the, the detergent you put in your mm -hmm. in your clothes. This one here, uh, Clean Breeze, is a lot similar to the Clean, the Sensi Clean washer whips we had. Whipped vanilla lavender. This is the other new one. This brand new came out with the Mother's Day collection. That's out now. This came out uh, November, or I'm sorry, November, April fourth, uh, I think. With vanilla lavender. I'm so excited to smell this. Okay. Sweet coconut milk and whipped vanilla soothed by English lavender. So we pretty much just got lavender with vanilla and coconut milk. It's a very lavender smell. Very lavender smell. I hope I love this. But I like it. Yes, I like it. Mm-hmm, it's really good. It... I was hoping it smelled a little bit like lavender marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. And it does smell like that. I maybe not quite as marshmallow. Like that's very creamy. It's got a very lavender marshmallow is a very like creamy marshmallow with that lavender. I don't think this is quite as much like that does. It's not quite as like creamy. But it is a vanilla soft like vanilla like lavender. It's similar. Yeah, I like Smells that. Smells good. Now let me compare that to the regular lavender. Where's the uh, French lavender? Here, hold that please. OK. 
Okay. Now this one, this one smells much more lavendery. More now that I compare it to this. It's so weird. This, the difference is like. God, they're both still. This is still soft though, but. What do you think? That one has more of a lavender smell. Yeah, it does. That's why I said it seems a little bit stronger on the lavender compared to this one because it's got the vanilla. But it's still good though. Mm -hmm. I really like that creaminess of that vanilla on there. Let me pop this off the back side. Some of these are hard to get out. Yeah. It's really pretty. With I vanilla like lavender. So that's, that's it. it. That's it. That was a lot. <laughs> so it was a big party though, so we had a lot of stuff here. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We're going to, um, of course, we'll let you know. Follow us on our social media on um, Instagram and all that stuff. Snapchat. Post, postly mostly on Instagram. Um, and I started an Instagram and I haven't got to do a whole lot on it. A little bit because I worked two jobs and I started it. But it's... Um, right. uh, Brett and Brad sense. Yeah, but it's, Brett and Brad is sense. Is it underscore something? Brett underscore Brett. Something like that. You had to I will show you. do it because it won't take the whole name. He's been posting that some. I haven't been posting that because I we have so many followers on our my 2K dads on YouTube. So I feel like we're just going to get more views there. So I feel like I just post most stuff on there. Brett and Brad since. Brett and Brad since, and, yeah. And it's Brett and Brad's underscore since. So, like... Yeah, I'm just leaving that up to Brad to do his thing on there if he wants to do that. So you can follow that. But I haven't got to do a whole lot. I only get to do it when I'm home. So it's not super busy yet, but it will be eventually. Hopefully by July I can quit my second job. Yeah, check it out. That one's going to be related mostly just to Scentsy. Yes. And of course my Instagram will be everything. Pretty much mine will be candles, Scentsy, anything I like. I pretty much fun on my Instagram. So... Yeah. But if you want just Sensi, then that will be that. And yeah. I will I will post like once in a great while I might post like a candle or something, but mostly Sensi stuff on there. Yeah. Probably just try to keep it Sensi maybe. Yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching. This video was probably really long, so thanks if you're still watching. <laughs> and we'll talk to you in our next video. Bye. Bye y'all. Okay, so we we're going through the stuff here after we got done with the video and there's three pods that we didn't have in the bars so I wanted to let you know what they are and let you know what we think of them. So this is a uh, Make a Splash. The one I talked about I heard was good. We didn't have that one in the bar. It's Dewy Melon and Fresh Green Apple. Dive into refreshing turquoise waters. So it's melon, green apple, and turquoise waters. Smell the melon. I don't smell anything else. That is really good. Mm -hmm. it smells good. Definitely melon. And I get turquoise water. It's like a watery. Definitely get the watery. A little bit of green apple. It's nice watery. Mmm, scent with melon. Then that is cocoa lime. Cocoa lime. Getting ready to leave to go to work, guys. That's why I got my jacket on. Cocoa lime is coconut milk and creamy vanilla get energized with a citrusy splash of fresh lime. It's pretty much lime and vanilla and coconut milk. Yeah, you can definitely smell the lime. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm-hmm. This coconut lime for sure. Mm-hmm. Smells amazing. Yeah. I really like that. And vanilla. Coconut and vanilla and lime. Actually. Vanilla lime. Yeah, mostly vanilla and lime, but then a little hint of coconut in that one. And yeah. then that's pink cotton, correct? Pink cotton. Pink cotton is, find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton, swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. It smells sugary. 
for sure. Vanilla, sugar, and berries and clean cut. Maybe berries. Smells sugary for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, sugar. I get sugar and mm -hmm. vanilla sugar. Did it say vanilla? Yeah, vanilla sugar and berries. Sounds really good. And a clean cotton. It is like a mixture of the clean cotton. It's like a. I kind of like that. It's like. Yeah. Not just straight up clean cotton. It's like a fresh clean cotton, but like with like vanilla and sugar and berries mixed with that clean cotton. Kind mm -hmm. of a laundry. That's really good. That is really good. All right, so we wanted to add that on here because we didn't get to go over those scents because we didn't have those in the bars. So. Oopsie. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, y'all.